Okay, I'm going to talk about some advanced um, wire number and techniques in AutoCAD Electrical 2016. I have an individual that uh, wants to do something different with wire numbering if they associate a cable with the wires. Um, what they would like to do is somehow signify that these wires are tied to a cable. So let me show you what, what I come up with for the process. So the first thing I'll do, I'll go ahead and put wire markers in here. And we'll put a couple children. And to tidy things up, I will go ahead and put a dash link line in between them. Let's try that again. Okay. So right now we have 251, 252, and 253, and, and those are good wire numbers, but if we want to somehow associate that as part of a cable, uh, this is one of, the one of the ways that we could do that. Uh, not necessarily the only way, but one. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to create a new wire type. For my wire type, um, maybe I'll just call it a power cable. I'll go ahead and make sure it's going to do wire numbering. Uh, maybe to, to show that we do change these, I'll, I'll go ahead and change my color over to blue and hit OK. Alright, so now these particular wires are still on my red 18 gauge. We want to make sure that we change or convert them over to my power cable wire layer. Once I do that, we should see it turn blue. So now we know we're there. Next part of this is going to be how can we how can we let AutoCAD Electrical know that we need to label these differently. And the way we can do that is by setting up that layer and being able to tell AutoCAD Electrical based on a layer to do something. Okay, so I always go over to my home tab and I'm going to select one of these that way I can keep my um, layer name up. So I'm going to right click on my project, go to the properties of it. We're going to go to wire numbering. Everybody's probably seen based on wire layer. If you have that unchecked for what we're going to do, we want to have that checked. Uh, we have to be careful when that's checked because AutoCAD Electrical can do some strange things that you not, didn't intend for it to do. So then we would go to layer setup. Well, right now with that turned on, anything that is um, on just the wire label, wire layer, sorry, um, is going to start at a 500 number. Um, we probably wouldn't want that. I'll go ahead and delete that one. But now we're going to create the new. Uh, we're going to create the new one, and we're going to start with my wire layer, which is power cable. The second field that we have here is how I want my wire number format to be. If you hit default, you get the percent in, which is also what it tells us in the project to do. What I can do, I can put a prefix in front of it, something like CBL dash. And also if I wanted to, I could do the same thing on the back of it. When we do that, we have to add. When we add, you're going to now see power cable and you're going to see exactly what it plans to do. If that needed to be modified, we would go back to it, we could change what we needed, and then you have to hit update. So now that we have this in place, anytime that it labels a wire that belongs to power underscore CBL, it's going to it's going to actually follow the rules identified in here. Now we could have used wildcards up here. If you have several layers like that, we could have put PWR with a uh, asterisk after it to signify anything that has anything uh, anything labeled PWR it would do the same. Let me go ahead and hit OK here. OK here. So now what I'm going to do is simply go back and pick these individual wires and we would expect that the numbering is going to change just like what we had in our rules. So think of doing that. We can do that on three phase components. We could do that on um, anything that you need to have numbered differently. Um, as you're going to see in here, uh, we have a phase one, two, and three. It could be set up for three phase even if that's the way you would want to set those up. Thanks.